at what point does it become you know not so much of a huge factor for you to be worried about what is up everyone my name is ed i'm a part-time researcher on four platforms and today i'm going to be talking about a question or concern that i see on all the groups which involves ebay poshmark mccari and facebook and at what point does it become relevant or irrelevant so on the other side of the intro i'll explain this uh, as the way i see it and think about it and just tell me what your thoughts would be All right, guys, so the, the thing that I always see in all the groups is very common, and that is, does feedback matter? Now, for eBay, feedback does matter a lot. It matters, especially when you're just starting, because say you have only 20 feedback, and you have two negative uh, feedbacks, that drops down your percentage down by a lot. I don't exactly know what it is, I have about, I think I have 445 uh, at the moment, and my feedback score is at 99.6, and that's that I only have one feedback. I had two of them, but I have one that's still on there because they uh, go away from your actual account uh, uh, after a year, and I still have one. And so just that one feedback alone brings me down by 0.4%. Uh, when I had two, it brought me down to uh, 99.1%. So it makes a big difference and it matters on how much feedback you have. So if you only have a little bit that, which only brings me 0.4 down, it might bring you down like maybe uh, five, 6%. So it, it it looks bad. So on eBay, it does matter. On Mercari, it, it doesn't matter. On, on Mercari, it, it really does not matter as much because I have three one stars and I have about a hundred and some uh, five stars. And a lot of people, they don't, when people are looking at your listing, I don't believe it shows um, what your rating is to buyers when they're buying. It really only looks if they go to your uh, profile. So on Mercari, in my opinion, it does not matter. Of course, you would still wanna get five, four, even a three star is fine. Two, one, eh, not much you can do. And just like I made in another video a while ago, maybe I might make another one. On Mercari, you can't see what the buyer rates you until you rate them, which I think is ridiculous. It, they, they really should change that. Uh, on Poshmark, buyers cannot see your rating at all. Only you can see it and only you can see the complaints. Now, the reason I believe it works on Poshmark, it does matter a bit is because if you're a posh ambassador, which gives you like a little bit more perks, it really doesn't do much. Um, I believe you have to stay above 4.5 uh, stars or ratings to be able to stay at, at a, as a posh ambassador. I'm still not sure what a posh ambassador really gets and benefits other than getting some uh, features a little bit in advance, not by much to be honest. So on Poshmark, it sort of matters, not so much. So yeah, Poshmark, it's meh. And then there's uh, Facebook. I've, I'm not too sure about Facebook because from what I've seen on Facebook, even if a person does not buy from you, they can still leave you a rating, which is strange, you know? If, if you just rub somebody the wrong way through Messenger, like asking, it's like, why are you priced so high? Uh, and they don't like your response, they could just rate you a one star, which is ridiculous. I have... Uh, I believe 133 ratings on uh, Facebook. I got two one stars and they no longer show on my profile because um, I ended up blocking the people because they were false. Um, they were both false. I blocked the people. And then apparently when that happens, the rating itself is, is no longer shown on your profi profile. But the, the one star rating itself, though, is still there. I hope I hope that makes sense. So all I I got all five stars and then two one stars. The review itself, where they put um, something about being wrong and something else that it, the actual comment itself is gone, but the one star is still there. So on Facebook, on Facebook it does not does not really matter at this point because other than buyers seeing your rating when they uh, buy from you. You don't really get any other special perks for having a high rating. It, it, you really don't. So on Facebook, it doesn't really matter. Now, the point I want to get to is at what point 
does it become you know not so much of a huge factor for you to be worried about so on eBay um, to me I'm not really caring too much about feedback anymore because I, I have a decent feedback where if someone feels comfortable buying from someone who with me who has a, a good amount of ratings over 400 with a 99.6 percent some they still feel good about it um, so to me that's not exactly something I worry about anymore so you know I really don't care on Mercari I never really cared about the rating there I always rate a, a, a buyer five stars no matter what it, even if they rate me one star I really don't care it doesn't affect me much all I care is about that I get the sale and that's it on Poshmark I don't worry about that too much uh, either um, I just don't I always put my little thank you card and they decide to actually rate me because you know after three they have to rate you to get paid but after three days you get your money and um, yeah on on uh, Poshmark I don't really care too much about the rating either and then there's Facebook I definitely don't care about that because I don't um, there's no perks to it just yet maybe down in the future they might but right now I really don't care so that's basically just what I want to talk to you about today ratings do matter on eBay especially if you're new you have to make sure you get as many positive uh, feedback as you can uh, once you hit a certain amount you might start not caring anymore because it's really up to people whether they want to leave feedback for you or not um, you, you don't want to message them you don't want to force them because that's actually really annoying and I've had that happen to me before where I have bought from somebody on eBay and they sent me message after message after message to leave them positive feedback and I was annoyed I just I just ignored it so I hope you find this informative if you have any questions please write them in the comments below I would definitely uh, reply and answer any questions you may have and as always like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you if you like this kind of content I always just make random little things here and there and hopefully they you find it informative so till next time guys stay safe take care see you next time